look in the door um, and see the water, we'll uh, we'll nod to Zook and request a little bit of uh, water breathing. Get a little bit of water breathing. Yeah, yeah, we'll do water breathing. <laughs> Zook pulls the pipe out of his mouth to make a cast and then puts it back in. <laughs> 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 Puts it back in and realizes, ah, uh, okay. Yeah, so you cast. I'd like to believe that we could still smoke our pipes underwater. Is all I'm saying. Um, as you guys enter in, that water elemental is still waiting for you guys. Oh. Um. Yeah. Didn't I mean, we uh... turn him into a mouse? Yeah, with polymorph. Yeah, but he's going back. To hell. Uh, ah! Putting your tokens out. You will be yes. An initiative. Actually, I thought we. Enemy. I thought we. Uh... Roll initiative first. Everybody, go ahead and roll initiative. I see. This is. I do not see initiative uh, tracker with initiative. which to roll on. Give me a second. And then here is Fingolfin. Up and coming. There's Fingolfin. <clears throat> oh, I liked Fingolfin. him better when he was a mouse. It's, it could happen again. Yeah, I want to see. Uh, the second one was for Fingolfin. I didn't. I forgot to drop down the change. Get Ilya the in 2. here. The two point one three. So I'm not having Ilya out of the party just yet. Um, right, right, yeah. Because if ah. you guys are just gonna immediately polymorph the thing. It depends if you guys beat initiative. Because if you're just going to immediately polymorph the thing. Um, I mean, that was the plan, I think. Yeah, we'll see. We'll go. So, what did Zook roll? Zook. It wasn't a mouse. It was a sea snail. Because we didn't yes. want to kill it. Zook had a 9. .9. Gary. No, wait. I got 15. Yep. Oh, I rolled it. I just didn't select my token. It's fifteen. Yeah, where is it? Fifteen. Okay. You were oh, fifteen. Oh no, that's tricks. Never mind. I tricks got it fifteen. Okay. Fingolfin got a one. That one. A one. Yeah, I'm rolling um, it. Okay. Wanderer got a I nine. Just, I don't see my token, so I can't select it. So I'm not having you guys pull tokens immediately because if you guys beat it on initiative, and are planning on polymorphing it, we'll see if the polymorph goes through. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Look, I think that what? means I should remove my token from the map. Yeah, well, it'll delete your initiative if you do that, but it'll be fine. Um, all okay. right, Zook. Um, it looks like you've got first on your first up. What do you do? <laughs> we're, we're gonna we're gonna polymorph in. Um, you immediately cast polymorph. Let's see if I think a wisdom saving throw. Let's see what he's got. Yep. He is polymorphed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> is what it a snail again? Oh uh, yeah, we'll just turn it back into a snail. All right. The, the water elemental. You guys rush into the room. Remember, the water elemental is there. Um, Zook, in a split second, you turn and you cast polymorph, and the thing just turns back into a snail. <laughs> Uh, it is a very angry <laughs> snail. <laughs> yeah, it been us last time. Let's let's not spend too much time. I'm gonna give the snail a slight pat and then walk away. <laughs> Wander, don't do it. I want to keep him. We don't want him to take a hit point of damage biting your skeleton exoskeleton. <laughs> you have yeah. You polymorph it. I. Uh, as you um, not that way. Room, you guys step out of the water, which you were. Yep. <clears throat> so you guys I think we have to go. Here. That was the depiction yeah. of Tamio, uh, God of the Moon, who was looking over another person. And this is the one that had the other room in it, right? Like up here that we never went to? I think we oh. went in there. Or did we investigate all of this? Okay. Yes. We did. I just had the door to go through. 
So you guys want to go through this one? Okay. Yep. Yep. You guys make your ah. Way. There it is. That's where we ran away from last time. Yep. You guys arrive back into this room, which has the mural around the walls depicting, um, <clears throat> depicting the events that you guys are now aware of about the last battle with the void. Uh, the two statues of the dogs are still sitting. Well, on guard. The dogs that peed on um, the tiny hut. <laughs> <laughs> is it all right if I try stealth and just peek my head through the door? Oh, I'm, that was me opening the door, not him. I guess I should wait. Oh, did the door open? I did not see the door open. I didn't either. Okay. So, you guys are now standing outside of this door. Frodo, you wanted to, or sorry, Wanderer, you wanted to open the door quietly. Yes, at least I'd like to try. Yeet! My favorite way to open doors. Oh, my natural 20 is gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how it pains me so <laughs> it rolled off the natural 20. Okay. You, Plunger just crashes the door. <laughs> you you go up to the door. <laughs> you, you go up to the door and jostle the knob and get it, and you creak the door open. Uh, you got to pull it your way. It opens in your guys' direction. Uh, and as you do that, um, you hear the door make a very loud scraping sound on the floor. Um, this is the quietest I've ever been. <laughs> <laughs> Normally I make more noise. Peacekeepers aren't known for being quiet. <laughs> no, the peace not comes from the end of the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now do we open the, now do we open the store? What did you see? Gosh, I'm just going to wait for Isaiah to open it. Just there's like taste. smoke all over your face. <laughs> I think there's something burning in there. Give me just I think I might have done an oopsie. I'm just getting <laughs> out. Okay, I can put Ilya down. Or, or not. All right. Yeah, you creak that door open. Ah! Good day. Oh, shit. Sure. And can I get everybody to roll in? <laughs> oh, shit. Yes. Uh, oh, shit. Store, and you see three Wraith soldiers waiting on the other side. Oh, man. We're GTFO, aren't we? Are they waiting for us, you think? This was All a right. bad idea. I have Engulfing. quite a bit of health, but... The nice thing see. about bad ideas is that... We need to check one thing. prepared for bad ideas. And here comes Fingolfin. Ah, so oh, I get my I fighting spirit thing. back. This is good. Let's see here. Okay. Uh, okay. The good news, I, mean, I have two charges of fighting spirit. Yeah. I rolled for Fingolfin, but didn't post. You want me to re-roll and select him? No, I got him. What did you roll? Okay. Oh, the pain. Uh, Fingolfin rolled a 8.13. Tricks um, rolled a seven. I have to put I down my own Ilya because I can't click on that Ilya. Oh, that's weird. Okay. You sorry, Tricks rolled a seven. Seven. And then Fingolfin rolled an eight. Yep, I got Ilya you. rolled a ten. Ilya is a ten. Looks like it's all in there. All right. Then if you would kindly remove the other Ilya. Thank you. Okay. All right. We might need to, Elias. <laughs> All right. So immediately, you guys open the door, and this guy moves over. Uh, he's got a longbow. These wraiths are ready for you guys. Uh, while they're not like waiting in ambush, <coughs> it seems like they're expecting. They've been expecting trouble. Uh, so it immediately hmm. pulls the longbow and takes, takes a shot at Wanda. <laughs> 
The big All beast right. in the doorway. <laughs> the 14 bounces off my armor plating. Yep. Your, your uh, Warforged armor plating absorbs it. Immediately uh, after that, the next one uh, who moves up and his draws the sword and immediately starts attacking into you. Um, let's see. Sorry, I'm just taking a look. Okay. First attack. That's a meets or beats. Sorry, I'm getting everything up. Making sure the stream's working right. Yep, it is. Perfect. All right. All right. Yep. So it'll deal 10 slashing, and then it'll take another slash at you. All right. That will not hit. All right. At which point the other one will... The last of the three will come over and take a longbow shot at you. Very good. <laughs> that will not hit. It bounces off my head. Okay. That is the three of them. Zook is up. You know, Zook, they're in a pretty <laughs> good funnel right now. With you in the door? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, sure. As long as you stay in the door and they don't go through you. Uh, all right. We're going to um Yes, I don't want to burn. I, I don't have a ton of spell slots, so I have to be a little more conservative, but we're gonna do the uh flaming sphere. And uh and then we're going to slam it into one of these guys. So. so you're doing a uh, flaming spear? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm so space here. Uh, yeah, you're... and I think that's... um. 1d6, and they just do a deck save, right? Right. I'll go ahead and post it, and I'll read through it real quick. Oh. oh it's, uh... I got it. Let's see. Unoccupied space That's... of your choice within range. Okay. I think, I think that's 12 player, then, for the life of it. See. It's a fail to DC save, right? Yeah, the creature takes 2d6 on a failed save or half as much as festival and as a bonus action. Yeah, you can move it 30 feet. If you ran the spear into a creature, it must make a saving throw against the spear's damage. And the spear stops moving. So. Okay. So they. Yeah. Everything within five feet. So the this one makes a deck save, as does the one of the other ones. All right, and they take 12. Very good. Uh, pass turn. All right, which of course means that uh, we have our sidekick, Ilya, up next. Yes. I believe 20 foot. I just need to measure something. Yes, that will hit them all. Uh, Ilya is going to position and cast a fireball, hitting all three of them. Which I'll post that. There you go. Mark off a charge. Pass commander, so they'll take half. All right. And that is all I shall do with her. All right, then up 
next is Finglefin. Finglefin. All right. <clears throat> Let's see what you got, boss. Um, he is going to drop heroism, or sorry, beacon of hope, and he is going to cast on himself aura of purity. And I'll post that. Okay. Until the spill ends, uh, hostiles can't become diseased, has resistance to poison, advantage on saving throws against blinded, charmed, deaf, and frightened, paralyzed, poisoned, and stunned. All right. Yeah, he gets his holy symbol out. Well, it doesn't need a verbal component only. Um, he quickly <laughs> straightens himself and speaks some words and gives himself an aura of purity, 30-foot radius. Cool. cool. Um, no, uh, no bonus action at this time. But he will uh, move to, I don't know why I can't select him anymore, but uh, if I could select him, I would move him, move him out of the doorway um, over here, maybe even possibly make sure this door is shut. So, <clears throat> all right, door is uh, pass turn. Okay, uh, then up uh, next uh, we've got Tricks. Tricks. Uh, Trix is going to, uh, let's see if this is, uh, doable. Um, Trix would like to, uh, give some, give some help to, to, uh, Wanderer. Um, he doesn't really necessarily have to see the area, but he kind of knows what it looks like because he saw the door, like, opened and, Stepped out of the way when Wanderer got the shit beat out of him. He's going to cast a uh, a spell right here so that it gets everything in the room. And uh, let's see how it goes. Very fire. DC 17 dex. Uh, fire. One person is is lit up. The one in the back is now lit up. Everyone else is fine. Um, that means you have advantage on that attack. And then uh, Trix is going to sing a little ditty uh, for um, Wanderer. And Wanderer, you now have Bardic Inspiration. Yay. Oh, I didn't mean to post the whole thing. Sorry about that. <laughs> we all now ch all the chat knows what a bardic inspiration is. Yes. Yeah. Right. <laughs> it's like, come on, man. All right. Yeah, you give it, you give bardic inspiration. Um, and up next we have. Oh man, I think it moved up. Still DC eight. Yep. It D8. is time to use a fighting spirit. Get myself some ten temp, and then time to whack and never look back. On this guy in front of me. <laughs> How does a 20 sound? That will hit. All right. I need this plus a d6. All right, you're a doing fire. fighting spirit to give yourself advantage, right? Yes. Uh, as a bonus action, you give yourself advantage on game. weapon attack rolls until the end of your current turn and give yourself X amount of temporary hit points. I get 10. Okay. Now I'm going to make my second attack. How does the natural 20 sound? Sounds just Do fine. this. Sounds like a natural 20. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> it did not roll crit for some reason. I have to roll a second one of those. And then two of these. There. And am I able to pump my bardic into that attack damage? Yes. Yes. Is it D8? Wait, 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 wait. So the... Pumping the bardic into the attack damage. That's if he pumps it into the attack roll, correct? When the target... And you can use the D8 for... Um, 
Let's see. One ability check, attack roll, saving throw. This can be added to the roll. And then for the mode of potential, it is attack roll. The target and each creature of your choice that you can see within five feet of it I'll must succeed on con saving but, throw. I'll allow it this one time, but remember, it's not, bardic inspiration it's, needs to be declared before <clears throat> you roll damage. I will remember that. All it's right. not so uh, to the so attack roll, and the mode of potential is being applied after the attack roll. Okay. So yeah, I, I mean the mode of potential can be used before you know the outcome if it's used for uh ability check. Um it says it can be used for an attack roll, which means that's um, it. Yeah. All right, so do I roll a D eight? Yep, you'll roll a D eight. Yes. D eight. And then there's a DC seventeen con save from the creature. Oh, Seven like damage. Con. And then if he makes it, then he takes thunder damage equal to the the dull die that was rolled. Is an, a seven. Okay. All right. I think that is all I do. All right. Yep. That was pretty good. First off, this. Shut the door. <laughs> <laughs> This warrior uh, makes a longbow attack against you. All right. It is not the well, best shot. It is an undead warrior. Um, it is not the best attacker. Uh, however, no, the that's commander, understandable. The commander is going to use call to honor. Ooh, I know what that means. He is means we have to slay him. With a mighty cry, the Wraith Warrior quickly summons his allies. Ah, fun. Allies. Uh, that is the commander's turn. Now, let me double check something real quick. If they go... Take their turn immediately <laughs> after the commander's turn on the same initiative count. Ooh, so they immediately get to go. All right, first one takes a swing. Bless it. Ilya with a battle axe. That will not hit. All right, and this one is going to move over and swing at Wanderer. All right. That will not hit. Third one's going to come down, take a swing at Trix. 25 to hit against Trix. Cuts him in half. All right, for 12 slashing. And then the last one's going to take a swing at Zook. Oh, that, why does Zook get hit by that? Pay. Yeah, that hits. For 13 slashing. And there's, Ow! there's five there. That's one, two, three, four. So there's still one going at Wanderer. Does hit. not hit. That is the commander's turn. Now does the other Wraith's turn. Uh, who's going to longbow shot at Wanderer? Because he's the only one he can see through the door. I think we know the answer to that. What is... Huh, where'd the rat come from? Oh, uh, yeah, I guess you see that too. I just ordered myself so I know where my aura protection is, but okay. I don't know if there's a way to just show me. I thought it was just showing me until uh, I looked that'll at just Twitch, show, That'll but... show all of us. Um, and then he makes a... And then the warrior, he can actually come out of there because diagonal is a thing. All right. Hmm. Zook is up. You guys are now surrounded by <laughs> a bunch of Sword Wraith warriors. Um, yeah, real nice. Um, okay. 
Sure. We're going to... Which one's the captain, by the way? Is he designated? The guy right next to Wanderer. Yep, the one next to Wanderer is the okay. commander. Okay. Well, let me remove this repeating ping. How do I do that? Uh, there. Okay. I'll mark it. All right, we're going to stick with the initial plan. We're going to do Greece. Hell yeah. Here. Uh, well, Greece is the word. We're greasing in here. Ten foot square. Should be a flaming, flaming mess for these two in here. Um, Fire! <laughs> and uh, do dead burn. I will also do the slam action. Okay. And hit him with the slam. So yeah, they got to do uh, deck save or go prone. Only one of them. Which one are you targeting? Ten foot square center on a yeah, plate. Yeah, so the grease is... Sorry, I thought you were talking about... You immediately moved on to the other one, so... Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, they're going to they're gonna go prone. They, they're going to take fire damage, and then the one closest to the fire is going to get slammed. Very good, very good. Okay, they're prone. Uh, then the slam attack. Um, I think that's just a deck, another deck save, which I, would be a disadvantage if they're down on the ground, right? Check conditions. Prone. Creature is disadvantage on attack rolls. It does not gain disadvantage on deck saves. Still got that 12 damage. Yep, still got the 12 damage in. Actually, and then, no, uh, it saved against that. Because the DC is <coughs> not against your spell save, it's against the damage. Ah. Um, but they'll still take the fire damage if they stay past the end of their next turn. Yep. Right? Is that what we just said? Okay. That's what I thought. So do they take fire damage from the flaming grease? Not immediately. Oops. Oh, if they end their turn in there? Yeah, when they start their turn in there, they will. Okay, fantastic. Well, that's the end of my turn, so. Okay, Ilya is up. All right, Ilya. Actually, no, she can cast that from where she's standing. <laughs> she's going to use one of her fourth level to use uh, Ruthim's psionic lance on the commander at level four. Ralothim Psychic Lance. Okay. Intelligence Saving Throw. Yeah, for the commander. Yes! Right. 26! Yep, it'll take 26. And is incapacitated until the start of your next turn. So it's incapacitated. It is not. It has immunity to that condition. Ah. Interesting. All right. Next. Well, no, we can't move her because she will take opportunity. So we'll just keep her there. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, have you ever heard of a ghost <laughs> getting incapacitated? <laughs> yes. Right. Uh, nope, doesn't look like there's anything else she could do. Yep. Fingolfin is up. She's done. Fingolfin. Okay. Um, <clears throat> let's see. We're going to go ahead. Uh, he's still. He can keep concentration if he casts another spell, as long as it's not a con spell, right? Yeah, as long as it's not a con spell, he can cast another spell. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So he is casting um, at... Uh, this one right in front of him. Which one? 
the commander or yeah. the one? Uh, oh, wait. Why did that come up? As, oh, never mind. Um, uh, not the com- – uh, yeah, the commander. The one with the red dot? Yep. Yep. He's the commander. Okay. Uh, so you make a um, ranged then... spell attack, which is at disadvantage because okay. you're within Oh, it's going to be disadvantage because it's so close. I've just not done any attacks with this guy before, so – uh, I, I think I made a bad choice, but let's go ahead and go. Let's roll with it. Double down. Roll uh, the dis- dice. Disadvantaged. Double crit. There's go. also there's also I shocking grasp, but that's up to you. Well, no, I, I I already called my spell. I don't really want to change that's true. it. It's, I just am trying to figure out how to cast it from you know, this sheet. This is one of the Fingolfin is not a combatant normally. So he's nah, not, he's he's not, not. combat trained. Yeah. In a panic, I feel like he does firebolt. <laughs> <laughs> Too close. Just, I don't know why it's not casting. You want... uh, um, let me check his oh, it's just automatic. Oh, that's what it is. That's why. It's because the DC is 15. No, no. It's a um, like no. spell attack. I, I think what happened 20, was that it wasn't labeled as a ranged spell attack within the spell's description, so it won't roll until it's fixed. No, no, we're good. Um, I can roll a d20 and then just add dex to it, right? So it's plus one? Uh, no, it's his spellcasting modifier. Yep. Which is plus five. Uh, okay, so that's going to be kh2d10, I think, is or 2d20 is how that works. Is that right? Pick, nah, fuck it. I'm just going to roll it twice, and then we'll pick lower of the two. And then add 10. Or not 10, 5. Bleh. That's the first roll. Second roll, it probably doesn't hit. 17 and 18. So 17 plus... Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. So 17. All right. Uh, 17 will miss the commander. Yeah, this is the commander. So uh Fingolfin will be fun. like like looking at everybody else like kind of a shrug, like I don't know what the hell do you want me to do? And <laughs> and then he is gonna uh maybe uh, he's gonna stay where he's at, past turn. He's uh, in a decent tricks. spot right now. He, he, well he'll be in trouble if he backs up. Um Trix is going to uh, do a thing. Um, he is going to attempt fairy fire on these guys. This probably will have some collateral damage, but it's what tricks would do. So here it comes. Uh, DC 17 decks on uh, all these guys. Uh, that includes Wanderer. All right. Oh, actually, I think it includes Fingolfin and Ilya as well. Let the ballroom blitz begin. I am yep. good. Why is that at advantage? I have the shield. Oh, right. Because he's using a magic effect. Fingolfin, 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 where are you? Normally, I check with you, but because I, I know it's magic. Character sheet on my. Dex. Shortcuts. All right. It's very fire. Dex. Yay! All right. I'm now I don't have to waste roll. a thing. Does that roll a d20 plus one? He is very fired. I'm just going to start marking him. Singleton is lit up. Crystal, I'll put a little mark on him. I'm going to mark all the fairy fired ones with. Uh... <laughs> Yellow. Yellow. Good. Okay. So it looks like two of them saved. All, All right. right. So there should be two of them saved. So three of them should one, two. So there's still one that there's three that are saved right now. Oh, let's see. One, two. Yeah. Sorry. Let me. Let me That's okay. Share. I have to go between multiple. Multiple screens for this. All right, All right. Cool. They're very fired. And then uh, bonus actions. Uh, <clears throat> he is going to. Oh, man. 
how how high is the ceiling here? Probably about ten feet. Probably not out of reach. Uh, yeah, fuck it. Uh, he's gonna sprout his wings. Your gem flight and uh, you manifest your can he get up to the ceiling without? Nope, he's gonna take it away if he goes. Yep. Fuck it, Trix is going to the ceiling. All right, he'll take it to the away. ceiling. Come on, Trix. Oh, hits, hits. Please survive. For okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. And I need two constitution saving throws. <laughs> okay, and I uh, think I tricks. get advantage on that save because of the aura of purity, but I'm checking really quickly. Aura of purity. Let me read the aura real quick. Scroll up. Aura of purity. Here we are. Uh, um... Um... Have resistance to poison damage and is advantage on saving throws effects that cause any of the frightened conditions. This is not an effect causing any condition. This is just you you keeping a constitu a concentration check. Oh yeah. Oh sorry. Oh I misunderstood. I thought this was an effect. Okay. Yeah. So uh, you got a roll higher than a level for six. Fire. No. So it's ten. Con save for fairy fire. Both oh. DC ten. And oh no. That's <laughs> All right. Oh so no! Tinglefin, Tinglefin drops. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Whatever. Anyway, Tinglefin drops very far too, so at least he's not going to get hit with advantage. Uh, yeah. Um, I'm going to use my movement to get the fuck out of here. Um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sorry, six. I went diagonal, right? Okay, uh, pass turn. All right, means Wanderer is up. Okay, so this thing's not fairy fired anymore. Do I want to take a risk? Hmm. Because I could get myself advantage on both attacks, but then I lose out her. No, I'm just going to use normal attacks. Who knows? Maybe the bonus action will come in handy after I do them. All right. Normal attacks. Okay. Number uh, one. Who? The commander? The commander. Uh, that won't hit the commander. That is a miss. And that will not hit the commander either. Pleasant. All right. Let's see. Where is my funny thing? And then bonus action, I'm going to try to stab him with a stiletto. Oh, yeah, because you got that little dagger thing. Fuck. <laughs> it rolled off a natural 20 twice. You, yeah, wow. Wonder missing attacks. Yeah, striking out. That's first. Yeah. We need to kill this shit. <laughs> I think I have a stone that might help him. Okay. Next time. Looks like that's all I can do. Yep. All right. All right. Um. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, yeah, so the commander is going to take a couple of... Well, first it's this warrior's turn. Yeah, first it's that guy. Yeah. yeah. He's the prone, odds right? aren't looking good until he's we prone, kill this damn commander. Get up and back up, and he's going to take a longbow shot at Wander. All right. Nope. These two guys are... And he's also going to get up. Wait, is it him first or the... Sorry, I have to check. It's the commander first. Uh, commander's first, then him. And he will take some damage for being in the fire. Uh, the commander will take some swipes at Wonder as well, because he's the only one that's really attacking him. I'm going to try to put a box. There's a 10-foot flaming grease square there. Yes! Uh, 23 just barely hits. For nine slashing. And I have one temporary hit point left. Okay. And then. Just still on your temporary hit points. That's fun. Yep. 
<laughs> this, this is why I went full fighter. One will attack Ilya with the battle axe. That hits. She will take 13. 13. All right, not too bad. She has quite a bit of health. Uh, and then this one will attack Wanderer. The one next to it. Let me know if any of them hit higher than a 22. Give me 11 for an attack. <laughs> Second one hits for 23. Uh, 23 will hit. For eight slashes. <laughs> slasher. Yep. We'll attack Zook. So that's seven Ten. for me. And then the fourth one will hit. also hit Zook. 18 to hit. Come on, Zook. Oh, um, yeah, that will hit. All right, for seven slashing. Okay, and then. Um, and then the last warrior is up. Uh, he is going to stand up, back up, and shoot at Wanderer. Yes, please. Yeah, oh, I've, no. I've been waiting for the natural 20. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, also, Zook, on that hit, can I get a constitution saving throw? Hit me with your best shot. Spear concentration. Fire away. Okay. I think the only possible way they can hit me is with a nat 20. You'll take five piercing. Three for five. All right. No, they, they can hit five you damage. 18 or higher. Oh, that's good. All right, those are the sword wraiths. Zook is up. Okay. Um. Yeah, all right. Tic-tac-toe. Um, we're going to... We're in a lightning bolt. Straight through these three here. Five feet wide, 100 feet long. Zippity zappity. <laughs> it looks like no collateral damage. So we're gonna. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna send it, and this is actually gonna be an upcast. Your deck save is correct. Um. Yes. Dex save. Okay. The last one in line gets does not get zapped nearly as hard as the rest. So the rest gets zapped for 37. Zook. Drop the nuke. I know. Oh no, sorry, 40 total. Because of the upcast. All right. Oh. Yeah. oh. That's this changes the game. Oh. Oh, um, <laughs> I may have just realized oh, something. Should've, should've recast that. Okay. It's going to be interesting. <laughs> Have any of them died from the lightning? Nope, none of them died from the lightning. Damn. Oh, let's see. Bonus action. We're going to slam the spear here. Oh, yeah. Whammy! Hit him with the slam! Hammer slam a jammer! He's okay. It's okay, guys. I've just found a plan that might work. Right. Anything else from Zook? That's that's my turn. All right. Up next, we have got Ilya. So I didn't realize Ilya had fifth level spell slots. So <laughs> we're gonna fifth level psychic lance, uh, Mister oh, Commander Man. Damn. Because I want him fucking gone. <laughs> the, the 21, air 21 a plus bit. 6. 21 plus 6. A DC 13 intel. It's a 
DC 13. <clears throat> that was good. The intelligent saving. <laughs> He's smart. <laughs> He's smart. I knew it was going to happen. <laughs> so half, I think. Okay. Probably uh, worth it. Save. The target takes 76 psychic damage. Okay. On a successful save, the creature takes half damage, as much damage, and isn't incapacitated. Yep, he is not incapacitated. Uh, he but, takes that, and uh, there he goes. He is still standing. There he goes. Hmm. None of us. It is a very smart creature. That's average <laughs> intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> Those wits came to him at the last minute. You know, the psychic glance fired, and he went, wait a second. <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> I'm already dead. <laughs> <laughs> you can't trick me. All right. That's all Ilya's going to do. I'm just glad I figured out she had fifth level. All right. Fingelfin is up. Wait, does she have sixth level? Wait, no, no, she doesn't. There's just a random she number drops there. concentration she on the aura of purity. Spells. <laughs> <laughs> There's just a random and number on six. That will be this right here. So aura purity drops. Beacon of Hope goes up. Uh, that means that they will get max healing from any healing. Well, that's good. Uh, basically, saving throws on wisdom and death. <laughs> so, don't die. And uh, pass turn. Okay. Which means it's tricks. Uh, tricks is going to cap some bitches. Um, yes. He uh, feels like he has a couple of different options, but this one seems to be the correct one. He will use a second level spell slot and pull out uh, a creation block, a cube, as it were. Um, and it will sit on top of the four or the three race. Let's hope that incorporeal doesn't mean pass through. We will find out. Okay. Yeah, you stick the block on top of those three. We've got a bottomless good cube. Move. Good move, good move. And it has no opening, so you guys are just going to have to like wait until they beat it down. I guess you'll get one turn yeah, they have out of this. That's all we need. And... Uh, Buys and then, uh, sorry, go ahead. Is that buys his time? It's good. That's that's all. It's going to segment the battlefield for uh, one turn, probably is my guess. Uh, DM that has. Um, I'm getting you the AC and the and the. And an AC of fourteen, I think. Okay, good. If I'm wrong. Uh, uh, AC is 16, and the hit points are... Uh, where are you? I know you're here somewhere. I'm so sorry. I should have had this ready. Uh, 55. No, sorry. 55 plus my thing, whatever it is. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll get it to you in a minute. Okay. When, when is your, by, the, by the time your turn is up. No problem. And then I am not moving. I'm I'm staying put. Right, Pass turn. Is up. Uh, final fighting spirit. Going to get advantage and another ten temp. And we're going to go to Pound Town on this man. Okay. How does natural twenty sound? That is not. Oh, it rolled up. Wait, that <laughs> looks exactly like a natural twenty. That is what? not a natural twenty. That is on an my end. It is thirteen. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> That is confusing because it rolled a nat twenty, but that's that fine. Is way far from a natural twenty, my friend. <laughs> yep, it uh, my nat twenty has looked like a dragon, and it lit up. I was like, "Oh my god, it's a nat 20. And then it's not. I've been lied to. Nope. All right, second attack. Oh my god, it did again. Why is it doing that? Why is it saying I'm getting nat twenty and it's not a nat twenty? It, it wants to uh, make give you hope. Ooh. Five, yeah, five, 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 for some five, five, goddamn five, five, reason. <laughs> All right. It's an omen. Got my two attacks. 
Did my bonus action, did my action. Do I have any fun things? Just Indomitable, which I can't use yet. All right. That all I be doing. All right. Well, 55 hit points. 55 hit points. All right, first of all. Yes. First, first wraith is up. Uh, longbow shot at Wanderer. Hit me with a nat 20. Fire away. That'll miss. And then now it's the commander's turn. The commander will start smacking you. Yes. Uh, neither hit. Okay. And then his wraith will start beating down the uh, the door. Remember, you still have that one guy in the back who has to... Oh, yeah, that's right. They do a weird initiative thing. So, uh, all right. Yeah. Uh, 14 is the AC. <clears throat> yeah. So only the crit hit it. All right. Still attacking it, Zook. 14 to hit. Um, not it. All right. Come on, one Zook. Down. Nope. The last one's got a longbow shot at... There's it. There. He's rolled two of them. For 13... Uh, sorry, nine, 12. Ten, There's another gr group of shots fires out. The All right. On the I other take side two damage. Longbow. He's removed my temporary hit points. Pain. My poor All temporary right. hit points didn't deserve that, man. Now it's Zook's turn. All right. I'm pretty sure I've done this one one time before. Um, yeah, but I'm trying to remember how it goes exactly. We're gonna we're gonna do a steel wind strike. Oh, that's a lot of fucking damage. Targets. Do you Five have targets. a melee weapon in your hands worth at least at least one silver piece? Doesn't he have a knife? Yeah, I have a knife. You. You pull out your knife, twist it right <laughs> over the steel wind strike. <laughs> Fuck this guy in particular. Five creatures you can see within range. Make Holy fuck. So you, them. Yeah, you can make three attacks, it looks like, because there's these two in front of you and then the commander. Yeah, so you can attack the commander and the two in front of you. Those are the only ones you can see. Oh, I First can't get weapon. the two in the other room. I can see them. Uh, within your five. actual site, not um, the whatever the heck the globe is. Oh, uh, I can. I thought I could see it. No, the, um, the site coming from the, uh, the drift globe. The okay. Hold on. Can I see it from here? I think I can see it from here. No, it's box. There's the box. I mean, where's the drift right globe? The box now. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah There's a big cube in front of you. Box, aren't you? <laughs> a shadow you're gonna make me do lighting on the box aren't you well I, the box lights up I mean, with I an ethereal glow if I, get, if I, I get hit by yeah. I don't know that it's worth doing because I could see the five I thought I could hit all five I mean that's yeah, a I lot see... of damage to do to three which is pretty good nonetheless well, I can see that one from where I was, not there. I can see one. I can see these two down here. Yeah, let me choose the box. <laughs> so, if, so you're ruling I can't see them. No, be, the, because you look at the you line You have to side. move someplace. Yeah. Yeah, if you That's also another there, thing where, like, if you did move, you wouldn't be able to see the commander. You just got to move to where you can see the commander and the... And then all three of them have to roll a saving throw, right? No, it's a melee spell attack. Oh, so he makes a melee attack and then uses his spellcasting modifier? Yep. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, and you take out the commander. Yeah, whatever you need to do to make hit the commander is really... a lot of damage. Yeah, yeah dude. If you it, just it, have to hope it's it going to be a whopper. It's like the hammer of God. You can then teleport to an unoccupied space. Yeah, so he's like blinking. Attack, I swear. Yeah, nothing personal, yeah. kid. Stabs him in the back, teleports away. 
Within five feet of one of the targets you hit or miss. And That's then awesome. vanish like the wind. Choose five creatures you can see, make a spell attack at <laughs> each of them, then teleport to an unoccupied space you can see within yeah. five feet of one of the targets you hit or missed. This is <laughs> one of those like yeah. Dragon Ball <laughs> moves be <laughs> moves so fast they can't see it. All right, make those attacks. You made him use one percent of his power, man. Yeah, I'm trying to. I got the dagger here. Where's my attack? Um, you would just roll a spell attack, so it'd be your d20 plus your spellcasting modifier. Yep. Okay. So if you use intelligence, you would use your intelligence modifier. Yeah, so it's your. You should have a spell attack modifier. You just add that to it. I don't think you add the actual weapons modifier, right? No, you don't add the weapons modifier. You. In his, let me see, let me grab him because in his uh, actual my, my spell attack he, bonus is ten. So yeah, so it's d yeah, so d twenty plus, plus ten is your spell attack. Hey, he's d20 just like Wanderer. 10. That's good. That's not oh, okay. So the no. nineteen hits. See, so uh, that, that is awful. Wah, 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 wah. Are it's you targeting? Who are you spell, targeting you with the commander? With it. Or who are you targeting with the nineteen? Bleh. The captain is my first attack. Yeah. All right. Yeah, you launch the attack at the captain. That is a twenty-nine. That will hit. So go ahead and give me six d ten force damage. Isn't that the forty-one that he rolled? Yeah, that's the forty-one. That is a lot. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> Hell yeah. He's breaking out his inner fighter. <laughs> Look doesn't run anymore. <laughs> that, it's one of those moments where you're like, and where are you teleporting to? Are you staying in position? Um, yeah, I'll stay where I'm at. I don't okay. need to go anywhere. I mean, I don't think you, I think this is a teleport without an OA. Yeah, it's right? yeah. without so you an can, OA and you can arrive anywhere yeah. within five feet of anybody you hit or missed. You're not locked in here with him. He's locked in here well, with you. It's essentially any place I can step <laughs> to. I can't really teleport anywhere else. Yes, I said that. Well, no, you could be on the other side of the. Funny. You could be on the other side of the commander. Oh yeah, because right. I did attack him. And then I guess you can slam the ball. Yeah. So I'll yeah I'll, I'll go over here then because I that, yeah I would have gone. I missed the other two. I hit the commander. Yeah, because you so can't we'll, um, we'll occupy the same space as uh, Fingolfin. <laughs> you just teleport. Right, right. Making that, like, teleporting sound, you know, the two sound. <laughs> if I had my soundboard up, I'd be able to play it, but I can't. <laughs> Dragon Ball teleporting sound. Come out. I have, I have three different types of you teleport your recorded <laughs> on my soundboard. <laughs> Pull it, pull it, also, it out to the, the macro. Just pull it out, the commander Ooh. immediately dissipates. <laughs> it just does like peace <laughs> out symbol, it just disappears. There's like a sizzle where he left. Such a cool spell. <laughs> He's used it before. I think he had a rapier last time, though. One or two characters. I, I didn't realize this thing is like, oh no, up to five. That is a lot of. Kill damage. them all. Blood for the blood god. All right. Um, anything else from Zook? Um, fireball slam. Hit him with the slam. He will take 12 and we will finish him off. Yay! Uh, the full All right, looks like he missed. At the same time that one does. Okay. I couldn't hear what you just said. Sorry, the other sword race, because his in commander's initiative is gone, the other sword race will go at the same time as the other one. About the same. They all went together. All right. Yeah, because killing the commander doesn't yeah, uh, drop his entourage. Oh, they still stay? They stay until they drop to zero. Is the commander dead? The commander is dead. Hmm. That's good. I can save one of my fifth levels. Uh, Ilya is up. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're going to move Stand Ilya back. over there. <laughs> Away from the dog, and Ilya is going to do that funny thing she does where she summons some poppets, right. which I can put down. Poppet. Poppet. He wields the wave. Hey, poppet. It's a poppet. 
<laughs> yep. All right. And then Fingolfin is up. Into the weave. Okay, so Fingolfin, watching what's going on here, knowing that everybody right now has um, his last spell still on them, he is now going to give them max curing with mass mass healing. Oh, so this will be where interesting. Is Fingolfin's? There it is. So he does Beacon of Hope so that he can do the max healing. Yep. And here it comes. Yep. Yep. So, so it's 3d8 like a, like plus your combo. spell casting. So the maximum of 3d8 plus 5. Uh, so this is, yep. So that's 24 plus 5. So that's 29 points to everybody. Now I remember why my guy's constantly at full health. <laughs> oh, that's 29. Nice. 29. Yeah. Everyone gets 29 healing. Except for you bad guys. You don't deserve Even the it. Even are feeling better. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and they just came into existence. Uh, <laughs> and then, yeah, so uh, Fingolfin is pretty stoked on that. And uh, he is also going to um, stand back so that uh, he doesn't get hurt by this upcoming event. Um, is the box, uh, holding? So, so I don't think it requires anything for me to drop the box. I, it's not a concentration, but uh, let me see. Creation stuff. Nope. It is in existence for four hours. Forget that. Never mind. <laughs> it's there. Yeah. Got this has, has to get damaged enough to go down. The box okay, exists um, now. You can't change the that. box. Is here. It's it's uh, all what's Trix, in the box? Trix is going to come over here, and those that can see him are going to. And he's flying, so he's kind of above him, like he's like up up above, like the the demon from hell that comes from heaven. Um, and he is going to do a thing that he has not done in some time, but he's kind of pissed. He's kind of like an, in an angry state. And he is going to um, apply some necrotic damage. <clears throat> At this point, it is 2d10. I think you're pulling Which, you're using that breath weapon. Necrotic damage, 15 hit points, and I make an attack. So I guess I have to take an attack of some kind. So I'll use the. Uh... No, so you don't oh, have geez, to take I got an across. attack. It's a deck save. Oh, I can just use my attack. Cool, cool, cool. Yep. So no, 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 no. I just so, roll a. So this is not an attack, it's a deck save. Okay, cool. You're cool, shooting cool, cool. out AoE. So what what yep. might be confusing you is when you take the attack action on your turn, you can replace one of your attacks with... The That's weapon. what was confusing me. So you're okay. taking the attack action, but you're not rolling an attack. And it's a 15-foot cone, so I should be able to get both those guys in it. Ooh. DC, let's see, 2d10. Eight plus your... Yeah, DC is eight plus, eight plus my con... Wonder just sees like this black mist just spew out. Thirteen. Thirteen to each of them. Oh, yeah, one, one of them, fail, one one of them doesn't. It's half. It's half damage with the fail. Oh, look at that! Sons of bitches Dead don't know how to handle their own poison. He took a lightning bolt before that. So. And then <laughs> that's true. Uh, and then he and then he, he uses the remainder of his movement to fly back. Um, and then bonus action, uh, shake the block, shake the box. Uh, the, do you action. have to animate the box? The, atta the attack is a crit. Wait, 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 wait. When did you animate the box? Uh, let's see here. I think that's my bonus action is to animate it, right? That takes my bonus action as an action. You animate. Never mind. Yeah, you haven't. Uh, has not been animated yet. It's just a box. Past, uh, yeah, it's just a box right now. Hasn't been animated, so. Wanderers up. Sorry. Uh, I, don't think I, have I any other bonus attack. Actions. 
because I can't use anything else except for Indomitable. It doesn't look like there's a lot of saving throws right now. Sha, this man right in front of me. Ten. <laughs> that is a critical failure. Uh, yes. How about an eleven? That is also a no. <laughs> okay. What about a stiletto with an 18? <laughs> <laughs> Going for the kidneys. Will hit. Dusty kidneys. Ah, we love the stiletto. There is max wait, damage. Wait, wait, wait. Never mind. Never mind. The base the base stats are broken. Um you said it was an 18? 18. Yeah. Okay. That'll hit. The base stats okay, were broken. So the I max... opened up to Sword Wraith Warrior and his AC shows 48. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. That seems highly unlikely. Why? <laughs> 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 you All cannot right. hit you know, not, not bring you, know you into question, DM, but that seems high. <laughs> hmm. You know, I don't but think. Can you really strike a ghost unless you're the Ghostbusters? Absolutely, you can strike and go. These are wraiths. I'm gonna test something. I'm gonna move to Agnes. Kind of somewhere move between. myself there. But yeah, there are yeah, they're uh, apparitions, right? Yes. No, they're more like they got like they got like uh, dusty flesh. Okay, that's all I do. It responds to banshees. weapons. Banshees. Oh shit, dude. As soon as he hears you say that, he stuffs cotton in his ears. <laughs> 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 okay. I'm just waiting for Gary the Snail to just bite tricks in the foot. <laughs> oh, I'm not in the water. <laughs> I'm so uh, I'm still out, I'm outside of the water. <laughs> I'm outside of the water. If, if I see I know, that I snail know. coming I just... at me, I think I've got two turns to get out of its way. So. Pers personally, no, I would um... probably do it. Sneak attacks. Oh, I just, I just do moves. ridiculous shit with random bullshit in combat encounters, so if there's like a rat, I might just attack someone. <laughs> how, how fast can a sea snail move across dry land? Is all uh, I'm asking. There, probably like five of that whole scenario you're talking about. Oh my god, the snail. <laughs> okay. There, there's one problem with this whole scenario that you're talking about. Um, you're assuming that it's still a snail. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. I, I was I was assuming it was still a sea snail. I was hoping it was a sea snail. <laughs> it was until Frodo brought it up. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just wanted to see and a then sea it was, snail come out. And then it was and then it's a water elemental, so I'm hoping that the water elemental can't really travel that well on land. But we'll see. Has a swimming speed of we 40 shall feet see. And a movement speed of forty feet. It is up. Sorry, so it, tricks. It, it, it's I thought hard it'd be charging. funny. This thing, it's hard to tell if this thing has emotions. I mean, it's an elemental. Dude, which side of the out. which side of the fight are you on, Frodo? <laughs> <laughs> I, I just wanted to see a guy with the snail, not water Barker elemental. Has hated tricks since the time he met him. <laughs> he blames <laughs> tricks for for uh, everybody he's, else's he's death. Using strike, and then he's gonna multi-attack tricks. I am in the air, right? So I get some benefit from that? No. Like, I'm up at the ceiling. So you're five feet above him, and he's got a... Ah, this thing has a reach of ten feet anyway. <laughs> he's using a trident. Never mind. <laughs> Pleasant. He can stab you from there. <laughs> stabby, stabby. Hey, look, guys, I caught a bird. Damn, stand by for polymorph. 15, 27, <sighs> and 18. Oh, they all hit. All of I'm them? dead. Yeah, of course. I got a 14. Oh. I know AC. 15. Is mage armor a reaction? No. Let's see if mage armor reaction helps. It is not. You'd need shield. It needs shield. Oh, shield. Sorry. I just remembered he gave me it to me my uh my my ring of spell storing. Uh is it a reaction? Can I use it? It is not a reaction. As a reaction? No, mage armor is not a shield? reaction. Do you have oh, no, I'm about shield. Uh, shield. Yeah. He put it in my ring. Okay, so are you shielding the first one? 
can I? I don't. I've never used you it can before. Shield I've never been a mage. Yeah, you can shield. Shield is a reaction. If you have shield. shield is a reaction. That's a plus five to his AC. Cool. So fourteen plus five. Uh, so. So nineteen. So only yeah, the crit hits. I have only the crit I have hits. level one shield. Yeah. So you'll take 11 plus 7, so you'll take... Oh, no, wait. 18. No, because that was a crit. Yeah, it's a 5 and a 7. That's the crit. Uh, I thought you no, were joking. No, but about there's also the... Um, he used so his shield only lasts attacks. through one, one, one hit? No, no it lasts you your entire thing seven. until it's your turn. Your AC is 19, but he hit you with a critical hit. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! Cool, cool. Oh, so you're only sweet. So it's just hit. the crit. Yeah. Nice. So your shield take... lasts ah. you until it's the start of your turn again. Yeah. So you take twenty. So you'll... Yeah, you'll take twenty. Eleven and then plus five plus nineteen. Seven. Uh, plus two because so the freezing strikes, the two d ten from the freezing strikes, and then the crit, which is the eight plus three. Cool. All right. And... Um, okay, so I do have some resistances. Are neither one of those are force, necrotic, or psychic, right? Uh, they are. Looks well, like one of them is force. The tri the base damage is force. No. Nice. So I have uh, resistance to force. Okay, so you take half of eleven, so six, but you'll still take the total nine. So, so fifteen, 15. instead of twenty. And your speed is reduced by it. 10 feet. I fly slower, guys. <laughs> I descend like a beautiful feather. <laughs> and you hear this bubbling sound come from the mouth, what you assume to be the mouth of this thing. Cool. Racer up. You're not sorry, Frodo. You're laughing your ass off. All right. I was hoping it was a snail. I regret my decision. All right. <laughs> Battle axe strike against the uh, against Wanderer. Yes. Dang. Vengeance for the fallen. No, that does not hit. Okay. Second battle axe strike against Wanderer. That does not hit either. Now against the box. <laughs> the box. Fourteen AC. So all three of them. One hit. Two hit. Three hit. So okay, that's, I'll track that. That's 23, 30. 30. All right, Zook is up. Should still be up, I think. Yep, it is. They're all just like yeah. banging again. Like, you hear the clattering of axes against the wall. <laughs> <laughs> the bubbling from behind you guys. This thing is not being quiet anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Ominous bubbling. Eight hit points left on the box. Okay, now might be the time to GTFO. <laughs> Why? Let's let's get him out. Let's take care of him now. I'm more worried about the elemental. We got hit points, baby. That's true. If you got a plan, I'm I'm good with it. As soon as I'm done with this motherfucker, I'm going over there. Uh, it is Zook's turn. Yeah, sorry, uh, uh, I'm still uh, pondering here. Okay, I think I've got something. Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. we'll try yeah. this. Um, it's cone 30 foot. I think I can direct this so that it doesn't, yeah, it should just hit these two guys. We're going to rhyme Binding Ice. Um, nice. These two very guys good, in front very of me. Good. <clears throat> wonder if we can freeze water. That would be interesting. And then, um, I can. I'd like to slam the orb into... Yeah. One of those headers. And uh, that's my turn. There's this much resistance. There has to be something in that room. Uh, you slam it in and let's see what happens. You slam the cube. You slam the. That means 
half damage, right? So who are you rhymes binding ice again? These two um right here in front of me. How do I indicate? Okay. The, the two yeah, rates right in front of me though. In that area. Okay. And a thirty foot cone. Alright. Uh Dex. So first one. No, constitution save. Sorry, I was making the decks for the that. Let's go con. Alright, first one's good. Second one's good. We're good. Mm. We're good. <laughs> oh, Alright. Wow. They both they, they both made it, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it um, just takes half uh damage. One didn't. The ability uh one rolled eleven, right? No, it was, that was that was meant yeah, for the, was the, the spear. I guess that was con. Oh, okay. Oh. 20 through 20. And is it half damage or none? It's half. It's cool. 3D8. Better than nothing. <clears throat> okay, so they take... Uh, I still got to do 3D8 then. Uh, it auto-rolled it up above when you made the... Uh, it, oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah. It is that the 11? Okay. Okay. All right. Well, that's my turn. All right. Theoretically, this might be a good idea. All right. The sidekick Ilya is up. All right. 10, 15, 20, 25. We're going to use a fifth level spell slot for Psychic Lance. That is the last fifth level. Level five. Okay, forward to five, six, seven, to eight, twenty-nine. Twenty-nine, and it has to succeed a thirteen on intelligence saving throw. So it takes 29 psychic damage and is, what's the term I'm looking for, incapacitated until the start of her turn. Yep, it is incapacitated. Tricks, get the fuck out of there! Oh, is that the water element? Yeah, at the water element. Oh, nice. Thank you. All right. Incapacitated, you say. Fingleton is up. Incapacitated. Cool, man. Uh, with the water elemental incapacitated, Fingleton is reconsidering his options because he was planning on something similar. Um. Yeah, I think he's just gonna stick with some some good old fashioned. Uh, I tried it once. Let's let's see if it works the second time. He is going to. Let's see. I just need to move this so I can see it from his perspective. Okay, got it. Um, yeah, he's gonna um, look at the uh, the creature that's furthest from him. Not the one that's next to um, Zook, but the other one. And he is going to throw a little cantrip. Cantrip action. Fireball. Yep. Fireball. All right. D20 uh, plus five. That's a ranged attack. Yep. So D20 plus five. <laughs> <laughs> that is You'd love to see it. <laughs> That is a full How does this thing work? How does this fucking thing work? <laughs> Just Ducks. point and shoot. I've never fought this before. And then, <laughs> Shoots and the then uh, I'm just moving the light for a second. Uh, Fingolfin is moving up to... Um, I knew I should have learned offensive spells. Here. Uh, I should stayed at college. Yeah, right? <laughs> Should have stayed at the okay, church. Okay, Trix. <laughs> um, Trix is going to um, attempt to put the uh, the water element back in its element. Seventeen yeah. wisdom save. Seven. You're polymorphing. 
Yeah, into a little fish, like a uh, like a oh, Nemo. No. Oh, so the polygon from the your tricks. Oh. <laughs> it knows. It's been polymorphed oh, too many times. It's How at its come? limit. How did he come back? He was polymorphed already for an hour. Yeah, but you cast another It's an hour, yeah, an hour was up. Oh, oh, and the concentration shit. dropped. The second right. you cast Flaming Spear, Polymorph dropped. <laughs> oh. That's right. That's right. No! Um, so because the thing is incapacitated, he's been, he's, he's been chilling. He's ready. He's already rolled two natural 20s. Here. What's the third? He's been watching <laughs> this train wreck. <laughs> <laughs> Now's my chance. The commander won't get in my way. Yeah, right. The commander's been keeping me in the water. Not anymore. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> All right, anything else? Frodo's turn. Yep, Wanderer is up. I'm up. I'm done. Um, you know what? These two rascals might prove a problem, so we're going to get rid of them while we have this reprieve. Because you've only got eight more hit points for reprieve. <laughs> Damn! Oh, no! All right, hold on. Oh, no! I'm going to refresh my page. So much I for really reprieve. Messed up. <laughs> so I, much for really reprieve. I'm more talking about done. the water elemental. You know what I should have done? Damn. But maybe deep inside, I I want. Um, I think Wander Wanderer feels bad that he didn't get to kill the other guy. Oh, oh hey, he look. He's... Wanderer should be feeling bad for. My stiletto reasons. seems to be doing more work than my sword. Tonto is hitting more. I love it. <laughs> Hey, nine. Question: uh, What level are you? <laughs> I'm level ten. <laughs> I think. What level were you? Uh, you know. All right. Dead. Anything else from Wander? He's like, um, Do we roll up? I guess he'll be rolling up a new level ten. Okay, okay, we got that. That's good. Actually, this seems like a good spot to be in. Stay here. And I'm Keep two of them locked down. Pretty sure the psychic lance. Yeah, that thing's still psychic. incapacitated. Yeah, until her start of her yeah, turn. Until her turn. So that's the soldiers uh, are up. Here, I'll quickly look at. Or the end of its turn, I believe. So. The target must make a ton of saving throw. Uh, psychic damage is incapacitated until the start of your next turn. So it'd be her turn. All right. Well, the first one's gonna attack Wonder. Please hit me with a nat 20. I'm just waiting. <laughs> there it is! For nine. Nine. Ouch. Okay, now the I'm still at box. 100 health. Ah, finally. A worthy Flashing opponent. The box. Do we destroy the box? It was at five, wasn't it? Eight. It had eight hit points. It just took eight, so we broke the box. The box crumbles and, the, and the disappears. Box. Wait, I guess I guess the debris would probably be there for another four hours. So we'll just say <laughs> it crumbles around them. The debris hangs into around dust. for another hour, uh, three hours. Uh, this one is attacking Wanderer. Twenty-two. Yes, meets or beats. For Finally. 20. If Wander takes enough damage, he might actually start dealing damage. <laughs> Is that the logic? We're Wake up, Wander! I was gonna say, if you want more damage, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna release this water element on you. <laughs> <laughs> Zook is up. All um, right, um... Zook. I recommend moving away because I'm gonna do something risky on my turn. Yeah, we got another steel wind strike in us. We're gonna. Oh yes, <laughs> yes! <laughs> All of them. Hear the animal. Make five attacks. Man, you are nailing it on the damage. Wait, wait, wait! Is it two is five creatures? You can... yeah? Are you attacking all of the warriors? Or are you included? It's within. Oh, he's going all five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, all let's right. do all of them. We need to get rid of the fucks. Wraith. Give me those five attacks. Let's do this. <laughs> All right. Remember, Let's you're see, adding so plus I... 10 to every attack. <laughs> Jesus. 
So that's, I, I didn't really want to add them up. Uh, 20, 15, 16, 16, 15. Yeah. Okay. Anything 16 or over hits? So three, three of those hit. Three of them? I would yeah, suggest targeting five. these two. You don't get to pick after. You, you declare your attack. Oh! It's supposed to be a you just throw it and hit? It's supposed to be a series of attacks. So you go that one, that one, that one, that one, yeah. that one. I attack that, uh, one, attack that one, then that one, then that I one. I see. That, one, that makes sense. Good job. Uh, Good. <laughs> the ball has arrived. <laughs> and then... Last turn. The ball is here. Ball <laughs> incoming. A flaming sphere has arrived. <laughs> All right, so now Did the war elemental is free uh, from its thing. Slam attack? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good. It's cool. Oh, wait, that one disappeared. Um, Hit him with the slam. Was that because of the slam, or did it just die? He died from the... the steel wind strike. Steel wind. Okay. <laughs> um, in that case... <laughs> yeah, in that case, we're going to bring it up and slam it. And Hit him with the here. slam. I, I already rolled the, it's the same roll either way. <laughs> sure. Oh right. boy, it hits. Yep, so he takes 12. Uh, what does Ilya got in her? And then does he get to move if he wants? If he, he gets to, to bounce teleport, somewhere within five feet? Okay. Yeah, but I can only teleport to an area yeah, where you're still within them. The enemies you yeah. hit or miss. So you're probably in a good place anyway. Yeah, we're going to stay. Cool. I was going to do fireball, but seeing that most of them are dead now, this is good. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Uh, Ilya's going to focus. She's going to use that multi attack and send two of the poppets after the guy here. So bang. And bang, I'm going to need two dexterity saving wait, throws. Wait, 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 She can't do that twice. I thought she could do it twice with multi-attack. With expendability. She can replace one of hers with it. She can't do both. One of hers. Okay, so we're going to put that one back. Nope, I did not mean to do that. So one of them will go. Dexterity saving So we need throw. a dexterity. Or be restrained. Yep. And take damage if it fails. Okay, so 13 damage and it's restrained. Pop, it's gone. Um, how long is it restrained for is the real question. Uh, it's until... Uh, restrained. Uh, it has it to repeat doesn't it say. Time. That's to repeat on stir. Okay, so until it succeeds. And then we're going to make two of the silver threads at him. One silver thread. You expended two of them to use the... Right. Yes. Uh, natural 20. Okay. So that's 68. So hold on. Hit the attack button. There we go. Uh, that's the damage. <laughs> And we're going to put her, because she moved 5, 10, 15, 15, 25. Okay, so she's moved her max amount. She is done. Okay, zero can't benefit. Uh, attack rolls have disadvantage. Okay. All right, single fin is up. <coughs> Fingle fin. Yes. you doing, boss? Let's see here. Um, yeah, he is. This is still uh, incapacitated or restrained? Restrained. Restrained. So attacks have advantage. Mm -hmm. Come on, Fingolfin, buddy. <laughs> oh boy, the firebolt is back. Thing work finally. <laughs> I guess I have to roll that at advantage. So here's I'll double check rolls. conditions. It does have advantage. Come on, please. Hey! Bye. 
<laughs> the 17 hit. 17 does not hit. Fuck! Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that is so fucking hilarious. He, he like shoots right. it and it just barely moves out of the way. And to be fair, I just I just realized, yeah, he was next to it, so it was a disadvantage anyway, so it countered out. So it was a six. It was a nat one anyway. So. <laughs> this fucker. He, he, he's, he's starting to get confident, and it just but fizzles. only so. It's it's like it's like uh, Ron from Harry Potter, dude. Just like you cannot get the goddamn thing to work. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, it's so fucking stupid. Um, all right, uh, yeah. So, um, Trix is kind of running slim, but he is going to go ahead and cast. Something. Let's see if it works. Um, he's gonna cast. Let's see. I think this is a distance thing. So, yeah. Here we go. Um, this is uh called hypnotic pattern, and it uh allows me to try to um uh enthrall. Not enthrall. That's the wrong word. Uh, charm the water elemental. I'm just seeing if I have to see it or not. Um, and it's not in roll 20, so I can't just click on it and see. For an affected creature. Well, Each man, creature. Uh, it's a wisdom save. So I'm going to cast it in. I, I think I'm going to go ahead and fly around the corner just so I can see. It's because I want to cast this specifically. Um, and it is how far? Come on, man. I'm sorry. It's like second time I've cast it. It's been a while. 30 foot cube. So, wow, dude. I hope I don't piss off the goddess. Um, two, three, four, five, six. He's going to have to cast it up here to affect the water elemental and not affect Fingolfin. Fingolfin so. So, Fingolfin. So, there we go. Wisdom save 17. Uh, third level nice cast. This is a charm effect. I wondered about that, yeah. Damn. Well, now we know. That sucks! So, it can be that hit by so incapacitated and restrained, but not charm. Um, that was my only concern. Well, actually, I thought the... I thought the way the race would not be able to be charmed, but I, I didn't realize the water elemental would not be. So, um, race yeah. can't be incapacitated. And then, uh, bonus sections. Um, oh shit. Oh fuck. I keep, I keep doing the wrong thing. Pass turn. Okay. I, every time I think, okay, this is what I'm going to do. Something changes and I forget what I was going to do. Oh, well. Wonder is up. I won't forget again. All right, dice. Time to do that thing you like to do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you haven't been doing. <laughs> hey, that's better. 17. That'll hit. All right, I'm hitting the guy right in front of me, by the way. This plus a d6. It's just a little bit extra. Then we're going to hit him with a second, and maybe it will do it. Uh, the first one yeah, I told you, he just had to take damage to wake up from his stupor. There we go. And also playing Metal Gear Solid music, because why not? Oh my god. <laughs> You're doing some serious damage there, bud. 22. Uh, did the Do second again. attack kill him? The first attack killed him. You didn't stop to Okay, ask so the second one's directed really at that sad. guy. Okay. And then Stiletto. <laughs> oh, yeah, that will hit. Oh, my God. What the the Stiletto that? never misses. Hell, right, dude. This thing has the enchantment of always hit. Close combat, man. Jesus Christ. I need so to just use uh, the stiletto now. 15, 23 on the second. Rate. Yeah, does it dispatch? That does not end that one. That one barely took any damage. I'm going to get in between him and uh, Zook. All right, that's all I do. Water elemental. He is restrained, so he will have to roll. Dex to get out, a disadvantage. Dex to get out. He makes the roll I don't know if it's a disadvantage. It might just be normal. 
He's not restrained. Doesn't stop him from doing things. You know that, right? That's true. Like he can still do this. Uh, Zook, catch. <laughs> Zook. Oh no. <laughs> I think I know. Sorry, I have to change something real quick because I gotta make it so that I can toggle this to disadvantage. Because what it is is the attacks are at disadvantage. I'll just roll them. Well done. I, I, I got you. Deck save. Attack rolls are disadvantage. I got you, Isaiah. Um, All right. Our attack rolls are at advantage, and their speed is zero. Yep. All right. uh, we want uh, that. What are you doing? There you go. <laughs> Catch. <laughs> Throw him a stiletto. He better not be. <laughs> he, to he will use freezing strikes, and then he's gonna start throwing tridents. Gosh dang it! How many tridents does this man have? First attack against Zook is an eight. Second attack is a twenty-four. Do I provide Zook cover by standing in front of him? No. Fifteen. Okay. I didn't know but if he was one of those stuff, ones right? that can you take like, cover behind people. Can't you like take absorb damage or something? Holy shit! How many trident attacks is he doing? So three at this. Uh, everything's at three. disadvantage. He's doing three of them. So one of them's a twenty-four, and one of them's a one's a fifteen. Yeah. So twenty-four and fifteen are probably the highest two in there. Uh, all right. Yeah. So I get I got two of them. You got you got two of them. Caught being uh, not with his hands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, it hits me. Four sixteen. He did use his freezing strikes, so you will take fourteen plus sixteen, so you'll take thirty. Ooh. Time for some healing. Indeed. Take it in stride, though. Okay. Could have been worse. All right, Zook is up. Yes! Pop it Should've for the just... win! Yeah. Zook's, Zook's pissed. He's like, what the fuck? Don't try to answer You don't want to piss off the wizard. I think he takes 30, 30, but he doles out 70. Between his legs. <laughs> <laughs> the good thing I don't Hitting have the testicles. Guy. <laughs> that would have hurt. Zook's looking up going, actually, it looks like you might. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Zook, yeah, what the hell? We're going we're gonna to pause. Oh, that's a lot of text. <laughs> hell know, yeah. It's just Get that. D20. Get that, motherfucker. Is that just another D20 that we were doing on this? Yes! Nice. <laughs> Uh, oh, yeah, it's a save, yeah. Uh, we're just going to turn him back into a snail again. A restrained <laughs> snail. <laughs> See, this is why he threw the tridents at you. <laughs> yeah, he's... Yeah, you, right. you're yeah, the it. one who you're did it to me. me. I mean, to be fair, the polymorph saves the only one point difference between us, but it's just, he rolled so high. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> he is now a snail on the ground. Again. Gary the snail. <laughs> it's fine if I just burn. roll. If I roll high enough charisma, maybe he'll be happy. If it's a land, oh. if it's a land snail, don't let him get back in the water. Because <laughs> <laughs> then he takes one hit point and he turns it's right. Fine. Back He's into restrained the water. <laughs> for now. <laughs> the, the snail the must snail. be contained at all costs. It goes up to the ceiling and drops. That's true. <laughs> 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 oh, this poor snail. <laughs> okay, anything right. else from Zook? <laughs> That's it. That's his turn. Ilya is. Oh, my goodness. Uh, you know, Ilya just gonna throw a bunch of silver threads at this guy here, and we'll see how well they do. Uh, first silver thread, second silver thread, third silver thread. Because of multi attack. Uh, two of those will hit. All right. 
damage and damage. There you go. I think he's dead. <laughs> I had to wait your guess. Yeah, he's done. Hell yeah. Oh. They're hitting so hard. Uh, I'm just Nothing rolling. Turning. I'm just rolling well. It's just three d eight, but I rolled two eights and then a third eight on the second. Carefully picks up snail by snail. <laughs> Carefully picks up snail, so it can't fucking bite him. Figures <laughs> it can only move about an, an hour, like a foot every hour. Just put him in a box or something. I places places get said snail in this area. Like over here, so it takes at least eight hours to get to his fucking <laughs> home. <laughs> <clears throat> oh my god! Do wait. Do we uh, have a jar? We could put him in the jar. <laughs> I, I'm sure we have a vial or something, but we don't want him to like. We don't want him to suffocate. No, no, no. We just like, we poke he's, a hole. He's gonna be a snail for a while. <clears throat> put him in an ice cube. Uh, yes. Okay, so. <laughs> I do want to know, can Fingolfin cast another spell before the um, before everything's done? Because he wants to cast the uh, the massacre wounds before the the other spell expires. I mean, he can do that. That's fine. Yeah. So everybody gets twenty nine. Twenty nine. Thank you for bringing me back to Max. I guess that Dude, ends initially. Fingal, Fingalfin's setup is just busted for healing. No, it's not. Setup like that's it. Dude. I mean, that that's, that's how. A I mean, basically, rolls. I literally no twenty nine for like everyone. If you put tw like, let's say you're putting only, that into one, that's a lot. Only if he only if he abuses his level three spells. So it's like yes, it, this a cost. So it's a cost, but it's good. For, for reference, uh, for Fingolfin, I did not build him off of a sidekick character sheet. I built a cleric. I love he it. Yeah, that's how I build most of my guys too. That's how I built most Dude, of my I, NPCs. I as think well. it's hilarious that he tried so hard to do that fucking firebolt and it just failed. <laughs> Pats him on the shoulder. You'll get it someday. At the yeah. very end of the campaign, he hits the big bad with the firebolt. <laughs> He's going to turn to you with like a level 99 firebolt and it's still going to go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fight is so, over. Uh, the snail is in the one side of the room. Okay. Do we want to go through this door or are we done opening doors? Um, I mean, I'm back to I'm back up to full health and I technically if we had another fight would be able to fight. I only have one D door. And I have to use my fifth level spell slot to do it. Uh, Ilya also I has have... one D door. Yeah, but we need three to get all of us out. So I've got a D door and a warding wind, but then I'm like pretty okay. much so spent. E I think we need to take a long rest before we clear the rest of the dungeon. The dungeon do we want here. to you do that strategy we do? Backtrack. Do do we want to do that strategy we do where we creak open the door and if there's bad we just GTFO? Um. Yeah, I mean, I, I'll be okay with that. Um, as soon as Zook casts a con spell, Water Elements is going to come back and play with us. Yeah. We pretty much can't do anything except check it out. If there's any encounter, I'm yeah, we we'll just useful. GTFO if there's an encounter. That's just let's keep us all near each other or i was going to say the exact opposite <laughs> you guys are honestly, though, the gm the gm low key has told us that the dungeon's clear there's nothing else here I mean, oh we're just clearing there it there were so spiders we the... you just i remember writing notes about spiders yeah i'm just like there's stuff there i'm like but you guys finished the dungeon <laughs> you guys are fighting the fight we're doing the side quest now <laughs> oh i was just I trying to get the thing fight. cleared because because we that's what they they hired us to do. Yeah. At least that's why I remember they now, hired us to do too. They hired you to remove the uh the sleep effect. Okay. So we have not either way, okay. if we GTFO when we open that door or not, we'll know if it's still up when we get up there. 
I'm if it's still up, away from the door. The um, I'm going to put uh, single fin on one corner, me on the other. Like, I don't want to be in any line of, I don't want to be in any, any line of attack. Random order. <laughs> and then I'm going to, I'm probably going to just close my eyes when Wanderer opens the door and shake my head a little bit. <laughs> right. So uh, for, for right now, Trix Fine. is blind. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm blind. I'm I'm I've got my eyes covered. Don't want to watch this shit show. Which All right, is he opening? <laughs> and so hunker down in the corner. I would I would appreciate though if people position themselves so we can d door quickly. So I'll put Iliad I there. Mean, yeah, I'll get I'll door. get Wanderer if 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 uh, oh, I think that Ilya door, can get me. The other door. So as you as you enter okay. into this room, um, the mural around uh, is there's no statue, um, but depicted in one of the murals is uh, a man carrying a child in his arms, dressed in full uh, military regalia. Hmm. Okay. Also, thing that Wanderer didn't immediately open die. <laughs> Opens I eyes would and looks. recommend having Finkelfin at least near one of the D door people. Just, you know. Uh, but I can do it. Uh, Isaiah, what do I need to do to kind of like investigate or figure out what's going on with the embroiderment on the walls? Uh, give me a religion check. Oh, he's so good at those. He knows so much about religion. I'm even going to roll it at disadvantage. <laughs> don't do that. You don't have to do that. Three. <laughs> it would have been three anyway. <laughs> it's an interesting you depiction. You can tell us. This wall. It's it looks wall. like it was drawn by crayon. <laughs> Ilya pokes head through wall, through yeah. doorway. Can I get Ilya to Laugh do Laugh at Wanderer. <laughs> That's not what it is, dude. <laughs> Can I just test Ilya since she's near? Give me a religion check from her. All right. She doesn't have any modifier. It doesn't look like. Let's see. Uh, Mage hands a uh, uh, whiskey. It's flat intelligence, flat to her. right? <laughs> that would be intelligence. I'll just roll intelligence check. Um, eighteen. Okay. Um, she goes. She 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 leans in and goes. Huh. The protector, Dason. Uh, and this is a depiction of Dason within his epitaph of the protector. Um. Commonly, he would be worshipped as the defender of the innocent and the patron of oh. orphans and cripples. Well, that's good. All right, now let's see if there's any cripples in the next room. <laughs> Do you want to make some? Or some orphans? Yeah, right. No. <laughs> the judging by <laughs> Wanderer's rules, we'll see. <laughs> we might make a cripple if you open the door. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to roll <laughs> stealth and try to be sneaky this time <laughs> as I open this door. This is this is where the DM writes the prologue because none of us are left alive. <laughs> 13. He's right next to me. Poppet. Or he was. He's underneath the poppet. I moved him in the room. Yeah, he's under the poppet. Yep. There he is. I'll just get rid of the poppet because it won't matter if we detour. 13 on stealth as I crack open the door. I don't know. I mean, she might bring one with her. Uh, do I need to roll perception as well, or you creak open the door? Um, it seems to be an empty room. Hmm. Huh. What the fuck is that in the corner? What do you mean? Okay. A door. No, there's some weird shiny thing in the top left corner. But I'm going to pretend like I don't see that. Uh, I'm going to take a perception check and see if there's anything sus in this room from where I'm standing. Your true sight shows you something. You can see it looks like oh? some kind of medium-sized elemental 
in the middle of the room. Yeah, we're not going in there. Shuts door. <laughs> Goes to other door. Do I have to reroll stealth? <laughs> Roll your stealth if you're going to open it. All right. If you're going to open it with stealth, I guess. Uh, you know, I'm feeling pretty stealthy. Why did it roll it twice? Ignore that second one. I got a 19. I'll take which one I choose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to close that door. <laughs> Slowly tiptoe back. I think we need to go. Seeing, seeing wander or tiptoe is terrifying. <laughs> wander, right, is your curiosity up, filled? Yeah, can, can, is there anything about long rest and big snakes? Wander's going to close this you? door as well. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Trick is gonna <laughs> grab a hold of Fingolfin's Fing, Fingolfin's uh, shoulder, Fingolfin's shoulder, and uh, and and wait to Zook. Uh, you first, please, so that you'll you'll have your warning wind up by the time I get there. <laughs> yeah, so Zook will Zook will D door out, and then um, I suppose I need to make a. Is that a con save? So. You detour out, and you arrive, and something is shifted up so on the upside. Uh, you don't feel the drowsiness pull at you, and don't feel the weight in the wow. air. Wow. We did it. I mean, <laughs> the DM's only been trying to tell us for like two <laughs> weeks. <laughs> <laughs> you did it. Um, I guess I can go next because... Even if there was one, I wouldn't be affected by it, so Ilya will take me out. We're gone. Well, I can... Oh, I'm not gonna leave and whisper back and tell you guys it's safe. But it doesn't matter. Who knew the snail Ooh. was the most deadly enemy? Trix, Trix will exclaim with loud acclaim, Yes! We are just as good as we say we are. <laughs> <laughs> right. We track. You know he likes to say Back to uh, claim our reward. Yeah, um, you, oh, you've made this trip big. a few times. Um, I'm not even going to have you guys roll for the journey. Uh, you've made it a few times. You've got all the stuff at yeah. your disposal. You arrive back at Trest and make your way back up to the top. Uh, with the wagon, park it at the inn, <clears throat> and make your way in uh, to the to meet Barnaby Fitzgerald, <laughs> who actually sleepy time is over. Uh, he it's only been a few days. You guys would arrive at like, well, you guys made another trip back before. It's been like a week and a half. <laughs> 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 you you we, guys. We, Trick, Trick announces us with like, you know, showers of like fireworks for creation. Just you guys we did it. like when you guys get uh, in there, and and he he's a professor in a college. <laughs> he's his, during office hours, so it's just Barnaby in his office with you guys exclaiming, and you just have this this silvery dragonborn there, just. Giving you the most, like, why are you back and what are you doing in my room look you guys have ever seen? We have completed we the have. assigned task. We have completed our homework. <laughs> Wait, there was homework? <laughs> yes, yes. Um, okay. So well, the... This guy was fun to drink with, wasn't he? We should see if he wants to oh, yeah. Immediately, it's like, hey, you want to go out drinking? <laughs> we got another party to celebrate. Well, thank you for completing your task. I'm sure the silvered one, you have your, the information you need now? 
<laughs> we all look at each other. Uh, I we... have it somewhat <laughs> documented. <laughs> and he does pull out a sack and sets it on the table and says, your payment for clearing the area. Um, I assume you haven't told anybody yet. Uh, no. We can fit you. Uh, would you like us to tell everyone? No, no, please don't. I will get an expedition together. I'll hire some adventures. I mean, there, there may have been a loud exclamation as I was coming to you through town. I kind of I kind of did a little display. May have just said hey, we did the job, but I don't know that I necessarily told them what the job was. They were really cute girls. Uh, I hope I think we might see them at the bar tonight. Well, I never said to keep it a secret. But, you know, you did your job. You, you got paid. I assume you got the information you you wanted. Oh. It's been a pleasure. Uh, we'll be at the, at the saloon tonight. And you're welcome to join us for festivities before we take off. Tempting. And, and, and as soon as he says that, you see him reach under his desk and pull out a stack of papers like that's like at least two feet thick and slams it on the table. I'm grading Glyph of Warding homework tonight. <laughs> I, I take a step back. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're, I'm on my way. Uh, I'll see you guys outside. <laughs> <laughs> And the administration is not very excited about the uh, last time I went drinking with you. <laughs> I don't see why. <laughs> they should just—they're like just a bunch of stuck ups. They should come with us next time. Yeah. All right, and that... as I'm walking out, I'm—I'm I'm hoping I don't hear a. Uh, Small explosion from his office. Glyph of warding homework can obviously uh, go wrong. What happens when somebody fails that assignment is the real question. Um, I don't think they <laughs> live to see the next day. I wonder if one of his students was named Dimmy. Oh, boy. <laughs> Kaboom. <laughs> no, nothing explodes. He's, he's doing. He's got one of the kids that always uh, in Harry Potter blows off their eyebrows. Uh, I, next time you'll come in and a dragonborn will be bald <laughs> <laughs> oh man you had such lovely silver locks the last time we were here alright so yeah you guys uh, just I post the loot from last time All right. yeah we'll uh, spend the night have a good time party out uh, supply ourselves next morning and then I'll send a, uh, a message I guess to the silver one. I believe I can do that with sending. Um, I got to read the verbiage here. I got to check the verbiage too. Which you are familiar. <laughs> What's that? I'm going to be I'm, right back. I've got to check the verbiage too. Which you are familiar. Less to a creature with which you are familiar. <clears throat> if it knows you, you can answer in a like manner. Uh, can you give me a D hundred roll? Absolutely, I can do that. Oh, whether he's on this uh, domain or not, huh? This plane, yeah. I think it. I think it transits planes, though. It does, but when it traverses planes, there's a five percent chance that it fails. Ah. Uh, what is the message? Oh, there it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um. Uh. Let's see. Lord of Mithril, Moon, and Silver. Uh, the paintings, the the information in the 
labyrinthine tomb is ours. We will meet you in the plains. In the plains? Yeah, like up here. Like, uh, oops, wrong map. <laughs> I just tried to click on the Twitch map. <laughs> like this area. Or actually, this is grassy, isn't it? Yeah. These, I guess this would be interpreted as the plains. I don't, I don't know. know. Which is pl which is more plainy? Is this desert or is this plains? Or... I'm just looking at a map. Oh, that's big dry. Why, why don't we go meet him on one of these islands? Set up a meeting. I didn't. I, I wanted to meet him on the same one, but I couldn't remember like how far it was, how many days, and I thought he can get to us faster than we get to him. Well, there's an island really close by to New Trest. There's a couple. There's, there's actually one in the middle of the town, <clears throat> yeah. but I think all the rich people live on it. Well, but we, yeah, we could go to this one. Or I just don't know how I don't know the definitions of those islands. So I was trying to use something that would like maybe be referential for this map. I'll, I'll do whatever you guys want. Ed, C, C editor. Yeah, where do you want to? Where do you, is, do you have a, a a place that we could tell them to meet us? Um, either y'all. I mean, he, we could try to get him to meet us here. Maybe it doesn't matter. It just we could go back to the town because he told us to go there. Yeah. We we could literally just tell him like if you want to meet up, we're in so and so place. Yeah. Okay. We'll just yeah. It's we'll just tell him where, which pub we're at, for a while. and then he can tell us where he wants to meet cool. us, rather than us right. giving him a place. There you yeah. go. I'll, I'll I'll name the name of the pub we're staying in, and we're gonna meet. Celia and I are gonna get shit faced. <laughs> then we could do some downtime <laughs> activity. I like it. Good idea. Yeah, we need to figure out quite a few of the items we got. So that was twenty four words. Give me a second. I'm thinking how how he responds. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> so, uh, Zook, we should play that that song that we made up on the on the ocean voyage over here. That pirate, that that body pirate song. I think they'd yeah. enjoy that one. I think some sea shanties. Maybe we got a few that we can roll out. Maybe that one about the kraken and how easy it was to <laughs> defeat. I'm addressing the stream, but. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. All right. Um, give me a second. I'm counting out the words. Oh yeah, we got to figure out how we're breaking up this treasure too. Yeah, break it up and then figure out what half these things are because the gauntlets to me sound interesting i just don't know what they do then we can write down who takes what i'm pretty sure we took a few things last time but it was temporary and if i look at my loot yeah i didn't put any gold or anything on my guy yet so Yeah, Zook's going to be interested in that wild magic crystal shard for sure. He's really curious about that kind of stuff. And this flaming orb. Now, tricks. You get an indignant reply. He doesn't sound very 
enthused when you hear it. Um, I'm assuming some sort of emotion can come across in a sending message, kind of like you're talking to them. And and it's it's not quite 25 words. <coughs> Why would I lower myself to meet with you? You are the ones who requested my help. I will welcome you as guests in my domain. Well, that sounds... He ain't wrong. (laughs) You have a dragonborn background. You know how prideful dragons are, (laughs) Trix? And hmm. and so it, it's not a little bit until after the message is sent that you realize, oh, I just asked a dragon to leave its realm to meet with me in human territory. Uh, an ancient dragon. You've been so friendly with dragons in the past that this <laughs> one that doesn't know you, <laughs> you get a dragon reply. I don't know if I, I think we um check check I think we lost uh I uh, yeah I think we lost him too. Yeah, we he's <laughs> muted. <laughs> I am so sorry, man. I'm sitting here just rambling off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like rolled over bar, to Zook and my drunk rambling off and my... he gets this indignant message in his head. <laughs> uh, Zook, I think we're going for a trip in the morning or Maybe late morning. Hell, maybe noon. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't yeah, really I think... explain it until that night later, or even in the morning after I wake up from being hammered with Ilya. Yeah, we all had a good rager. Uh, can you give me sure. a... As you have had this wild rager, can you give me a constitution saving throw? Whoever partakes in the rager. Can Wanderer also drink an exuberant amount? Because I just want to see if he gets drunk or not. Illy knows how to to throw a good party. (laughs) So I'm guessing uh, performance with disadvantage. Well, you were drinking with Ilya. You you forgot that she can drink most everybody under the table. She has been very collected yeah. when she was in fighting. You kind of saw her in her in a in her collected. I'm on the job, but as soon as she was off shift, she was downing Felidar's kick left, right, and center. <laughs> she, you were trying to keep up. You wake up in the morning, um, like not in your room. You wake up on the side of the inn. Uh, Zook <laughs> has his shoulder on you, um, <laughs> uh, and you're There's you're awakened by the barkeep like throwing a pail of water in that direction. Last, I'm already awake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I, I I seem to recall the. That we played for you last night. Um, how did we perform? <laughs> you covered the cost. <laughs> oh, could you say it a little quieter? <laughs> <laughs> oh man! College students. Funny. College students. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I am right. Um, I'm going to attempt to uh, lift Zook up to his feet and not put too much weight on his shoulder as I uh, struggle to make my way back to my room. Yeah, well, we'll assist each other as best we can back to the room. Yeah. To sober up. Pull out a hair of the dog. <laughs> pull out a hair of the dog and you some guys coffee. Go back to your room and on your way back to the room. At one of the tables, because you said you were drinking with them, is Ilya and yeah. Wander still going glass for oh, glass? Yeah. 
Oh man, <laughs> I want to see if um, I can get drunk. Yeah. <laughs> it's never happened. I don't before. know if that makes me happy or makes me throw up. So let's. Oh, I, I mean, I don't think you, but I might. I might join him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, hey, nothing makes a hangover go away like another drunk. So. Oh yeah, Zooks. Zooks rolling up for a round. He's just going for vodka with uh, raw egg in it. Raw egg and some tomatoes if he's got them. Yeah, prairie <clears throat> oyster. He's just yeah. Just going for the, the prairie oyster breakfast, and um, he's feeling good after a few more shots. That's easy. He's recharged. And maybe, maybe, a, maybe a breakfast. We're, we're like kind of scratching our heads and just kind of like opening the fog. And <laughs> whew. oh, and then I'll tell them the message I received. Uh, yeah, uh, he requested that we kindly uh, requested that we go to where we lost spoke with him and uh yeah i mean seems like he's, he's really excited to hear from us <laughs> good. downs alcohol well that sounds good and uh, uh takes uh, one more and yeah. the table <laughs> <laughs> I, I i i order another uh wake him up and uh I kind of, I'm going to go ahead and give her, or I'm going to ask Finn Golfin to give her a little restoration just to wake her back up. <laughs> greater healing. Just greater it's, restoration. I think it's, the, yeah, this, I think this cleric has gone so high and yet so low he at the same time. Oh, no. out, which disintegrates. <laughs> <laughs> Is it truly worth? I mean, we're gonna need Ilya at her finest if we're gonna if we're gonna get even out of the city. Oh my gosh! Today. What he does is he takes the diamond out, he grabs her on the shoulder, casts greater restoration, pulls her back, and as she's like sitting there just fine and cold, dead sober, like leans over her in the eyes and says, "You're paying me back for the diamond." <laughs> <laughs> These two are gonna be a great pair. I just know it. <laughs> I mean, they're they're both so kind and loving and and happy fellows. <laughs> Wonder just looks around and says, "I do not see the appeal of this alcohol. <laughs> it seems to be having an effect on most of you." We'll we'll find one stronger for you, bud. Hmm. One day. So, are we able to Today's find out if any of this now, stuff... I know what we can try for for him. We can try uh, motor oil and battery acid. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. <laughs> we could even just use substitute uh, grease for the oil, and old, old Zook there can just, you know, whip up some grease right now. Nah. Ah, it's roll. been a Take long a time since I've had an oil bath. So, we will not have <laughs> time for the journey tonight. Nah. Can we go over the items tonight? Yes. Yes. That would be great. Items, and then, XP, and then dividing. Is there, yeah, uh, are there other trinkets and attributes and experience that might be poured from the giving kind hands of the DM? <laughs> please, please. <laughs> I had the Legolas quote up just in case Wander rolled in that one. <laughs> so we will actually have to do the magic items. I'll send it to you guys during the week because I okay. do not have that information in front of me. All right. Not yet. So Can we also like fast forward through the whole like we exchange some stuff for like the diamonds that we've used yeah, for yeah. resurrection? Basic and... shopping, that kind okay. of thing. Cool. Like go for it. All right. Good. Great. I'll start working on dividing coin and then are we doing xp tonight or some other time i will send it in chat um I cool don't, I don't perfect that much you only killed a couple of uh commanders killed mm. are you kidding there was like 10 things in there yeah 10 wraiths. the wraith wraith warriors summoned by the wraith commander don't count 
We incapacitated a water elemental without harming we'll her. Something to it. the water elemental. Don't worry about it. We we did it <laughs> twice. <laughs> I think we did a lot more than twice, but you know. I'll get you guys a fair XP shake. How much XP Thank does the water you. elemental get for being polymorphed four times? <laughs> We come back and the elemental's like, uh uh, no more. Uh uh, get the finger down. No. You guys show up at at the edge of town, Zook. You've done your quest. Get the fuck out of here. (laughs) (laughs) Finish your quest. Get the fuck out of my domain. Complex for being a snail so many times. (laughs) Dude, that thing's going to be hunting us down. I just know it. Water elemental's going to be like, okay, I can can handle the fact that you're going to polymorph. For the love of God, don't make me a snail. <laughs> <laughs> Anything but the snail. Anything but file your request. <laughs> Octopus would be nice. Actually, we can at least I can XP think. Um, it'll be thirteen hundred okay. XP for everybody. Thirteen hundred. Thank I'll you. Write that down so that I remember it in the chat. And that was fun, there guys. That was hilarious. It was pretty funny. <laughs> this was not the session I had planned to do. Oh, we were supposed to get out of the labyrinth. Like, I, I see that now. <laughs> <laughs> All we had to do was bamp out, and the spell, the sleep spell would have been gone. We'd been like, oh, cool. We don't have to fight anymore. We'd That's come true. out, like, pushing the goo off of us. <laughs> All right. I've divided wow. the gold. I am writing down the math. First time with hypnotic pattern. No, that was my first. Oh, probably my second. But, but that is where we're still right. haven't gotten to use enthrall. Uh, right on, man. You guys took your long rest. We'll begin the journey next time. <laughs> Go through the journey. Um, it would help be helpful if you guys wanted to put out, prepare your route. Beforehand, you know where you guys are going. Okay. So just prepare the route you are taking to get there. And then we'll cool. do the travel. Right on, right on, right on. Cool.